What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. What's the word? Let people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. What's up, bitch? You got me. I'm feeling my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Who did your hair? Susu. Bro, they went crazy. So first thing first, you know, what's the uh, reason behind your name? Where you get it from? And that's, you know what's crazy? Everybody asks me that, right? And I do not remember where I got my name from. Like, I've been calling myself, this is my freshman year. And I don't remember where I got it from, because at first I used to be Kia with the pretty ass. Like, that's <laughs> everybody knew. But I'm Gigatti. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I thought that was like some mob type shit on some. John got it, you got it. No. So how old you are you? Drinking booster, y'all. Yeah. I am twenty three. I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday is December first. Bitch, Sagittarius is twenty. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you originally from Chicago? Yes. Where you Where you uh, grew up at? I grew up on Fifty First and Calumet, but I grew out on Six Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of fans be confused. They be like, it's they be so yeah. confused. They want to know if I'm from here, from here, from here, from there. I just let y'all know exactly where the fuck I'm from. Okay. But like, uh, this 50... is my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my daddy block where I grew up at. You know what I'm saying? So, this honey is my family. Yeah. So, like, 51st and K, man, what, uh, what they call it? Um, what the fuck was they called me? I was a little girl. Oh, so y'all really. Uh, they was calling them mad boys. That's that's that was they was calling them mad boys. That's before all that young money ass shit. Them, right. Like them, them was. Them, them. Also over there right now, that's young money type area. Nah, Kaiyeme. I mean, nah, they um, don't cottage. Cottage, yeah, cottage yeah. is young money. But when I was growing up over there, I was a little growing shit. My dad you know was dirty deeds and mad boys and shit. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. how long you been uh from six hundred? From six hundred, I'm not from six hundred. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like how long? How long you been over there? Um, uh, since I was like, I want to say like fourteen, thirteen, one of them. Yeah. So. So I stopped. Which one though? Now what you was gonna say though? Um, I started hanging out on six hundred. That's before it wasn't even six hundred. It was on um, the Brick City Boys, Brick City Boys, and all that shit like that. Just bang bros, boys, bond on those bang bros. But anyways, <laughs> um. Yeah, I started hanging out at 600 when I was like 14, 13 and shit. And I'm trying to figure out who the fuck I started hanging out with. I forget who I started. It was a girl I was with and shit. Matter of fact, me and Mina, Tate, Tate's sister, sense, yeah. me and Mina was like this and shit. So, you know, like I started, you know what I'm saying? We was all going to Dunbar and shit like that. My freshman year, you feel me? Yeah, so that's that. You still got a relationship with well? With Mina? Yeah. Yeah, she was just in the shop today when I had got my hair done. Uh, so, you yeah, know. Yeah, she was in the shop. She cool. I mean, we don't hang, but she cool. You know, when, you know what I'm saying? when you moved over there, like, was there any, like, major differences you noticed or was, like, the same shit from coming from 51st? It was the same shit. All right. It wasn't shit different. It was gang tag. Yeah. <laughs> So how was your childhood over there? Like, was it like fun or? It was so fun. I swear to God, we used to do. First of all, we was terrible. Let me put that in there. We was terrible. <laughs> like, we used to be gang the fuck out. Like, all of us deep as fuck. Like walking in the park, doing bad shit, running in the gas station, taking everything out there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be so fucking bad. And six hundred was. Affiliated with Geo Drive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they used to they used to be down there too. It used to be a lot of us ganged out bed as hell, doing all type of bed ass shit. So it was fun to see, you know. It, it was it was fun looking back. It was fun to see. It. Right now, I won't do none of that shit. <laughs> so when you was a kid, did you like used to get in, like a lot of trouble type shit or in school mm -hmm. or outside? Um, I was so bad, but you know what? I never liked the police. So like, I, we was always <laughs> the type to run. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, it was always the type of run, so. Yeah, I ain't never really getting a lot of trouble, like, with the police and shit when I was young. We was, we was running. Yeah. You see, like, me in L.A., like, one day, the whole time, all of us, as I said, and shit, the police came. 
and we start taking off on their ass, and me and LA got caught together, like, but they let LA go, and I had a warrant, because we was better still, like, we used to have all the steam, was McAdoo was the one, they called McAdoo, pull up the steam, was, and shit. Take me with the screwdriver or Yes, we had, I swear, we had so many steamers lined up in the back of Indiana, like, bad as hell, like, like, to this day, I drive with two feet, like, me and LA drive with two feet, that's how we learned how to drive. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what about, like, school, when you get in trouble in school, or? No, um, no. Um, it's it's, <laughs> it's so crazy. I got kicked out of school for like attendance and shit like that. Like, I ain't even get kicked out of school for being bad. That's what's so fucking crazy. I never had. I had two fights in school, and it was with one boy, Dakari, he from GM. I think you did. You ever uh, interview him? Awesome. GME, De Niro. Oh, yeah. I'm I right. had a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never fight. <laughs> me and him, we like this, though. Um, me and him had a fight up at school, and then my other fight is Burger from 600. Yeah, I heard him, but I don't know who Yeah, Burger, you ain't know me. He got yeah. killed. Um, Burger, um, me and him, had, he was fighting, and I jumped in. He was fighting some brisk squad boys. So I only had two fights in school. It was two boys. What? I got kicked out of school for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just. Not going and shit like that. Bad as hell doing shit. Yeah. Leaving Speak, early and shit. Speaking of fights and shit, I, I <laughs> <laughs> you right now, but as I say the fight with you, that was like, me. You saw that was me. That was that well, was well, me. Who, who, whoever that was, what was that about with that girl? Rondo. Yeah. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's time. You know what I'm saying? No. Mm-hmm. So you know, growing up, like, did you grow up rough? Because it's like. Looking at you like you like you look like a pretty girl, but then you got like a gangster type side. So it was like, how was it growing up for you? I grew up with all boys, yeah. the whole six hundred shit. Like and my and my daddy and my brothers and shit. I grew up with all boys, and a lot of people like, I want to say, drew me the wrong way or like, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't know me. You got to get to know me to know. Like I'm sweet as hell. Like I turn up when it's time, but I'm sweet as hell. I'm sensitive. I'm a crybaby. But yeah, like yeah. I could tell from some of your posts sometimes, like it's like you would look like you got that gangster image, then sometimes you would bring out the little sensitive <laughs> shit. That that don't be me, yeah. <laughs> so like how was you like when you say you was with like niggas, like you considered yourself like gang type shit or Yeah, I was ganged out. <laughs> I was bad as hell. Boy. I was walking to the store with a gun. Yeah. I was bad. You feel like you needed or you just wanted? Like at that t- but you know what's crazy? One thing I can say, my days are like gang banging with 600, like none of the op boys and shit, like they was never on that with me. You know what I'm saying? Like if I see them, like they weren't on that. So me walking with a gun, no, I didn't need it, but I was bad as hell, you feel me? So I'm like, yeah, give it to me type shit, you know? Yeah. And Tay gave it to me. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's how I be with a lot of females, like, especially. Like if you like not attractive, then it'd be different. Niggas don't be giving no fuck. Right. Like, when you attractive, niggas be down there want to talk to want you. Want to talk to you. Yeah. Then, even if you is attractive, it's like, I never was the type to be like, fuck Tuka or smoking yeah. on Tuka. So, I, I I was never that type to be disrespectful. Like, so like I was ganged out with my game, but I want no smoking on Tuka and fuck Tuka and this and this and this. Like, that was never me, so. Yeah, like real street niggas, they not finna even be looking at you like you a, a threat. Yeah, right. I was, you want some I want set up shit or something. Exactly. That, and yeah. I don't do shit like that. So. so, you know, how long you been doing music? Uh, since twenty, since twenty thirteen, LA got killed, and then Rondo here went to jail, and I had made a Try Me remix. You know what I'm saying? Try me, try me. Yeah. I had made that remix, and I ain't no motherfuckers was gonna fuck with me. You feel me? <laughs> and um, when I made it, like they was fucking with it, song and all. I kept doing the shit. And they was fucking with me like I be. I was having a hundred thousand rules and shit. You feel yeah. me? Like you look at right now. Yeah. So you know, before you did the music, like, did you have like any type of fan base, or did you have it? In, yeah, I had fan base like based on me being pretty, me being with six hundred. You know what I'm saying? Rondo, my nigga, he rapping. Rondo yeah. number nine, Ron, G guy, that's the girlfriend type shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, so is that like part of the reason you started yeah. rapping, knowing you had the fan base, or you just? No, nah, I just was. I had started rapping because. Rondo went to jail. LA got killed first. Rondo went to jail. And I just ended up making a Try Me remix. Uh, like, I been knew I could rap, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was nothing. I used to say little shit. So, but, I mean, 
when you did your first song, like how did people react when they when they seen you was rapping? They was going crazy. I ain't know they was gonna go crazy because I ain't no fucking rapper. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. I'm just Rondo on that. You feel me, girlfriend? Bad as you got it from six hundred type shit. You know. So yeah. they was going crazy though, and I kept doing it. So when you when you first started, did you have plans on taking the seals or you were just fucking around? No, that's no. I ain't have plans on taking the seals. So when I saw them like going crazy, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I might as well just finish doing the type shit. So what then ma- I made that. I what, made middle finger. Something. What made you actually take a seals? Was it the reaction you got? Or? Yeah, the reaction. So you got any goals in it? Like short term, long term? Just long term goals. It's first of all, it's just to be consistent. Like that's that's the top thing with any artist that's rapping. You just gotta be consistent. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like if you don't be consistent, you'll lose your buzz. It ain't shit to gain the back, but you'll lose your buzz. So long time ago, just to, you know what I'm saying. Be consistent. Keep going crazy. Take care of my people when I get. You know what I'm saying? So what? Uh, like I be I be paying attention to your shit, and it's like. You be going crazy, but sometimes you really don't be consistent sometimes. So like I do, don't. Do it be shit that be in the way or like what be going on? Um, it be like family problems and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a personal life. I got a, you know what I'm saying, um personal business yeah. life, you know what I'm saying? So like that I got a couple different lanes I'm in, but I'm in my own lane, but I got other shit to do when I'm doing this on top of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I think the fans don't be understanding that sometimes. I be going through the same shit. It's like, they be, why the fuck you ain't doing this? Why you ain't doing this? It's like, bro, I got shit that's- They don't course. understand. Yeah, like, like- they just, it. It, it, It's so crazy. Like, we drop shit. Y'all hear it. They still want more. Like, yeah. more. like damn, give us a break. Like, they don't want to down. Like, but I, I like that, because yeah. that'll keep me motivated. Like, like I, I put a video on my page, and it had to be like, I ain't no flies in like a month ago, and I said I was gonna drop it, and I didn't drop it yet. And they study DM me, like, you ain't gonna drop it, you gonna drop it. <laughs> but that's motivation, like, that's, that's reminding me, like, Jack, got it, you gotta do this, you gotta yeah. do this, you gotta do this, even though I got a hundred other things going on. It's so you people so, care, so it makes you yeah, like, right, I'm gonna do it. It's so many words. But they don't be understanding, like, it be shit that be, like, I ain't gonna say more important, but it's shit you gotta handle or be on your mind. Or, exactly. You know? Personal life. Yeah. So like, what's your uh, relationship status? I know it's like people. I'm just single. Yeah. Well, one thing for sure, my banana's not going anywhere. <laughs> so what y'all got like some type of understanding or something with him being locked up? Because I know that's It's not be. even so much of under. It's understanding, of course. You gotta have understanding with motherfuckers. Yeah. But it's just like we put so much into us. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, we used to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so- we used to be so crazy, so it's like, we put a lot in, and it's going to take a lot to dig out if we do want to throw what we got away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so like, basically, like, you single, so you free to do what you want, but, like, if he's a clone, it's like, whatever that is, it's, it's over with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, how was it, like, you know, when he, with him being in jail, like, is that stressful for you, knowing that he locked up? And it's... it's it's not stressful, but it's like, damn, come home already. Like, if I do like a nigga, and I feel on this, if I do like a nigga, G, it's like, it never go far because I'm always looking for him in that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's all I know. Like, he went to jail. Like, that's all I fucking know. You feel what I'm saying? So. What age yeah. would you say y'all uh, start, like, rocking with each other? I was 15. I had just turned 15. He was 13. He was 14. <laughs> <laughs> he was 14. Yeah, he was 14. So how old was uh was y'all when he actually got incarcerated? Um how fuck old was I? 18? Mm-hmm. I think I was 18. Mm-hmm. So you said I was 18. 18, yeah. So you say when you be looking at other niggas, you be looking for him. So like, what yeah. what is that that you looking for? Like that you when you say you looking for him, like what type him, of him? Like his aggression, his everything towards me. Mm. <laughs> you just be looking for him. These niggas ain't nothing like him. 
What you mean, soft? He ain't soft. No, you said you said you looking for aggression and shit, so the niggas be talking. No, to I'm him. not looking for aggression. I'm just saying, like, that's him, aggr- yeah. aggressive. You know what I'm saying? I just need, if I do get another nigga and he, you know what I'm saying? If I do find me a nigga, it's just like me being who I am, even though I'm soft, I'm tough as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the cloth I come from. Yeah. I'm cuffed, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like a nigga just gotta put me in my place. You know what I'm saying? Not even do too much. Just put me in my place. And don't know nigga. I run over these niggas. Like, they nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, bro, that's shit crazy. <laughs> so, what, Period. What would you say, like, your uh, biggest turnoff is with a nigga? Acting like a fucking fan. I hate that shit. I just seen some shit <laughs> on Instagram. You talking about your ass fan out. See, what I feel like was? a fan, like, I am who I am. Do you know what I hate? I hate for a fact when a nigga be like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know who I am. You know who I am. No, I feel be like, I don't know, just acting like I ain't finna do this because you think you this type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just be yourself. I'm gonna be myself. Like, don't take a offense of like how I act because this is how I act. Like, just like, this not no act. Like, just fuck the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is me. So. Okay. So like somebody's blowing me up. Go ahead, we can talk. Let right. me see. Oh, this is my grandma. Okay, what happened? Tell me. So I know you say your uh biggest turn of like fan type shit. Like, so what type of shit you be running to? Like they be like what type of activity you know what they be on as far as fan shit like. Just like, taking pictures like on with G Gotti or shit like that. Or? And I had a motherfucker to do that. And I was so <laughs> mad. Like he called Lil Reese. Granny, I'm on camera. Say hey, Granny. <laughs> what? I'm on camera. I'm doing the interview. Say hey. You ain't on the camera. I am. Oh my god. I'm on camera, Granny. I'm doing the interview. Would you say hey to the cameras? Hey. <laughs> Girl, you so you dry. Can't see me. Huh? You can't see me. <sighs> Back, Granny. I'm a Kai when I'm done. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Okay. But anyway, what was the question? About the uh, fan shit, like type of shit. Yeah, so I had a nigga before, like the nigga in the car, you feel me, chilling, just talking, nothing special because niggas ain't special anyway, you feel me? So we talking and shit, he like, yeah, ooh, like I'm finna call a little reason. So I'm like, okay, you feel me? I'm in the seat. So now I'm sitting in the seat perfectly. Now I'm in the cut, like, okay, you on the phone? He, I, right, and put the camera on me and press in. I'm like, <laughs> I just oh, got bro, that shit be weird. I don't know why people be doing that shit. I hate when females shit. do that shit. Like, what the fuck is? That yeah, bitches be oh, bitches. Females be, be worse. Too. I ain't gonna lie. Look, doing anything for clout, oh, <laughs> mommy, for real. Yeah, that shit a turn off. That shit turn off for me too. I, I don't, do you like I don't my like hair? Do y'all like my hair? In the comments, tell me y'all like my hair. Okay. <laughs> so you know what about turn ons? Like, what's some shit that turn you on? Ooh, nigga, turn me on. Nigga to put me in my place. Don't let me run over him. Feel me? Saying? Take me out. Treat me like a queen. Cause I'm a fucking queen. So I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> Just shit like that. But it's, it, it, but by me having a name and shit like that, and who I am, like a nigga for like, like a lot of niggas for like, a lot of a lot of niggas just feel like. They don't want to do a lot of shit because they don't want to feel like a fan type. You feel me? Yeah. You ever met a person like, I ain't finna do this. Like, you just read their energy. Like, they, they nonchalant about everything because they don't want you to feel like they a fan type shit. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. And then nine times out of ten, I be feeling like, ugh, anyway. Like, ugh, I want Rondo. <laughs> you feel me? So, it ain't been nobody you talk to that you just, like, was fucking with. Like, yeah. actually like them. Mm-hmm. So, what happened with that? I'm gonna I'm 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 get up with her. I know I'm gonna see her. You feel me? And she gonna think that is because she don't she she don't know me. You know what I'm saying? She oh, think she, she think like no, nah, not even a goofy. She just think like, hey, I'm coming as an act. You know what I'm saying? Like this yeah. is really me. But when I catch her, I'm gonna smack her. She knows she is. <laughs> she fuck around, watch this interview. She's so fan. What y'all what y'all getting to it over? Um, Cuban. Yeah. Like one thing I'm big on is trusting. And I was telling Cuban, like, I don't trust, like, motherfuckers who she bring around. You know what I'm saying? You cuff them, tell them all your business in the next couple of days, week, month, whatever. 